Okay, 1963, uh, this came off of Bel Air. Uh, and uh, just trying to make this wiper motor work. All the things you gotta do to keep these things going. I mean, this came, I mean, I paid for about $1,200 for the whole car after the whole deal was said and done. Uh, getting a frame out of it, getting original steel wheels, cause I'm gonna put uh, Super Sport uh, hubcaps on it with big old gangster white walls. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I wanted this badly, so I took it off. Uh, I've been working on these things for a while now. I got a 62 here that I got working. For some crazy reason, I gotta take this out in order for this to function, which I don't understand. But when I put it back in, it's as if it's grounding out or the ground is not strong enough. It's just some something crazy. Uh, so here's a, a a tip i wanted to do is and say is take this out make sure it doesn't touch the the housing here uh put some in its way and go ahead and test it now if you're new to this i have a video that uh that shows this one here working for a 62 chevy impala this is your power okay both of these are your power this one this one's sticking out and this one in the middle this is your fast, this is your slow, and I'm gonna show you here right now. So what you do is you have a, here's a step-by-step. -step. So if you wanna get some wiring, you get a, a, a positive, here's your hot. You see how I, I have it in the middle? And my negative come, is connected with this guy. So I have my, my power and my negative over there connected, right? I bring it over and then I make a jumper cable. So now pay attention here. So I have this alligator clip coming from the same ground that I mentioned that's coming from the battery post over there, right? So I, I have it connected somewhere where you get some good ground. And then off of that same wire coming out, I make this wire and I'll show you why it's kind of a little complicated and a little confusing. Uh, but nonetheless, and before you even start, I highly recommend you use your tester, your light tester. So now again, you can either check the same ground area or connect it to the other clip, right? Because if this is true, then this ground is good, right? So then you complete the circuit. So now take a look at this. This is positive right here, right? So not completing the circuit, not getting power. Let's make sure this ground is connected. Complete the circuit. <laughs> here we go. Get in there. All right, now we can complete the circuit. See that? Circuit completed. Now come back over here. See this guy? Circuit completed. Where it's connected, circuit completed. Again, in the middle, that's all power, right? Like I mentioned over here, don't touch that, but that, well, you can, just want nothing. This will make, initiate it because it's ground, right? There's your fast, okay? You can do it that way, but Here's a better way. Take the light off. Here's the other piece that I told you about, right? So this one direct is going to go to your fast speed. And then this one, and it goes right back. This one is going to be for your low speed. So now check this out. See how slow it goes? That's your low speed. Take it off, fast speed. Go back. There you go. Now slow. 
Boom. See that? Faster. Slow. Now I take it off. You'll know it's on fast mode because it's going to start off on fast mode. Because you can't start it off on slow. See that? You can't do slow mode. You got to start off here. And you know it's good. But again, like I mentioned, I had to pull this off. See this ground? This is grounded there. I had to pull it off in order for it to work. So something is... I mean, I've cleaned it. looks cleaned and maybe... I gotta tape this off on this end. I'm gonna tape it off and see. Maybe it's touching somewhere where it shouldn't be. But then again, that's ground, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't get it. There's a wire in here that's just finicky. I don't know. But the grease and stuff in here is really good. I'm gonna add a little bit more, uh, push it in there. Uh, other than that, I mean, you know these cars. They didn't run them for 100,000 miles. They ran these cars for maybe 30, 50, 60 at that, if 50, the most. Some of them I've seen in 70, uh, up to 70,000 miles, uh, but that's probably because, you know, they had it forever. Uh, but uh, this particular motor, uh, like I said, I got it off of Bel Air, and I was lucky because this is, this is exactly what I have in my 63 uh, Super Sport right here that's mounted right there, and that one works. That one's beautiful. I took a lot of time cleaning that thing out and making sure it worked. So other than that, here's the other piece. Look how clean it is inside. It's not bad at all. The aluminum, the outside obviously, right? Got to clean it out, take it apart. I'll be doing that here, uh, but I'm happy this works. I'm gonna clean it up some more, maybe blow it out, get dust it out, uh, put a little bit more grease in there to help it and put it back together. Before I put it back together, I'm gonna make sure this goes in nicely and do the test all over again to make sure uh, wh what it is, I don't know. I don't understand. So a couple, it just trial and error. Uh, just like this guy, I'll have to mess with him. Uh, out here in Idaho, it's cold as, you know, and uh, I'll be spending some time in here just trying to fix this and trying to make it work. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know that sometimes it's, it's difficult. This is what I found. Do not throw them away. And if you did throw one, throw one away without opening it up and just testing it, shame on you. You got to open this up. You got to look inside. And if some of you are out there that are going to go back to them, go back, open it up and do what I did. It might just help and give you that, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that's that unit back, put it back into, uh, your, your car, if you, or sell it, whichever, right. Uh, just don't toss it, throw it in the trash. Uh, so far I've been lucky, honestly. I have been lucky. I've I've come across, I think, five to six of these wiper motors, and I've gotten every single one to, to not that I had to do anything, uh, maybe just a little bit of grease, clean up the wiring, resolder. Uh, that's about it. Maybe move it around, right, so that it will function, clean the outside, and put it back together. That was it, man. I mean, I didn't have to buy new components or anything for these. And I've, I've just been pretty lucky finding these and, and getting a hold of these. And, and this one I actually found for, I think, like $20 or something. Uh, but this one, again, this is part of a, a deal that I did with a, a donor car. And uh, I was pretty happy and fortunate to be able to get this. All right. Other than that, that's about it. That's all the, uh, that I have. Please, if you have any questions... Feel free to email me or uh, leave it in the in the notes and I'll respond to your, your message in there. Uh, but just real quick, I'm going to run this by. I only got the power negative coming in here, right? Again, I got the power obviously right here in the middle there. I got my negative here, which comes out. It, I have it here grounded to the housing 
and then off here kind of a pigtail to show you and it, it can be either side but as long as you start off with this side first see that and then in order to make sure you have the slow because unless mine's just backwards <laughs> like that. now it's slow And here's here's something I'm just trying. It's a little difficult with. Hang on. Yeah, so both have to be on, I guess. And then if you take the fast out, slow won't work. And if you take the slow off, fast will work. So there you go. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.